Well, good day, Gothamites. As we know, Cyber Monday is coming up and everyone will be shopping online to get those last minute deals. In honor of that, we thought it'd be fun to take the Vogue Cyber Monday shopping quiz. There's some questions that Vogue, the fashion magazine, put out. And we're going to take a seven question quiz about your shopping habits. I'm actually going to take it. You can take it along with me. There's seven questions. The questions and answers will be posted below so you can follow along. Question number one. When the seasons change and it's time to buy a new wardrobe, you A, check your credit card balance and then tell yourself that you only live once. B, take a quick survey of your closet, throw out unworn items, and make a list of exactly what you need. C, call up your friends to set a shopping date. D, this means you can leisurely browse online during work hours to distract yourself. I chose D on that one. Question number two. When a salesperson asks if you need help, you A, Immediately engage in conversation to justify your potential purchases. B, say, no thank you, is what you say, but you're actually thinking, why are you bothering me? I never need help. C, you don't, but the three friends you're shopping with do need help. D, salesperson, you're hunched over on your computer and you're scouring the internet. What do I need a salesperson for? Question number three. Your bank account is hovering between negative and zero, but you really must have that one item. What do you do? A, so is selling my kidney safe or not? You ask yourself, of course it's not. But instead you pull the swipe and pray move at the register. B, if you really need it, you will wait till next week until payday like a responsible human being. C, Ask the friend to spot you. Can I have a couple bucks? D, use a shopping app to find the lowest possible price. Well, I chose B, to be responsible and wait till the next paycheck. Again, I have a family, mortgage, wife, and kids, so I have to be responsible. At least I try. Number four, when you see a large crowd in the store, you A, use your elbows. B, bypass the mob and dart straight to the area you need to go to. C, crowd. Hell, my friends are the crowd. D, turn around and scowl at them. After all, you don't even know why you bothered to venture out into a brick and mortar store anyway. I chose B, bypass the mob and dart straight to the area you need to go to. Usually when I go shopping personally, I know what I want and I want to go straight for that. Number five, what do you do in a dressing room? Do you A, love what you are wearing, so you ask for three more of the same item? B, do a quick 180 turn and then leave. You already know that the item would fit. C, step out and strike several poses for your entourage, your friends that you're shopping with. D, my dressing room is a full length mirror in my bedroom. No long, no long lines needed there. I chose B because you already knew the item would fit. Number six, how important is a return policy? A, a quick fix for one purchase stand, whatever that means, those are their answers they're offering. B, you rarely use it, you know exactly your, what you're going home with and why you bought it. C, all your friends do it so you do too, I guess that means ask for like a return receipt. D. It usually is a bit of a hassle and involves prepaid shopping shipping box, but at least you don't have to talk to anyone. I chose B, you rarely use it. You know exactly what you're going home with before you buy it. So generally I do. Uh, I have the sales receipts. Sometimes you ask for gift receipts, especially during Christmas time, especially it's for a gift, but I rarely use uh, return receipts. Number seven, what do you do with your new purchases when you take them home? A, I hide them. I don't need my significant other, neighbors, or anyone else judging me. 
they don't understand my needs. B, I put my purchases away. Why else would I do with them? C, I try them on taking a selfie in the mirror and I send it to all my friends. D, I open up a box, I put the garment on or item, and I think the above that there is such a thing as a one-click purchase. Well, I thank you very much for taking the quiz. I chose B on that last one, number seven. I put my purchases away, because generally you're not gonna wear them right away unless you're going to a party or an event that same night. Below the questions are results. If you have mostly A's, mostly B's, mostly C's, mostly D's, they tell you the kind of shopper you are. I happen to get mostly B's. And for me, it said, you don't like dawdling. You have no time to browse. And you do not consider shopping to be a social activity. Instead, you know exactly what you want before you even step foot into the store. Your brain is blessed with a GPS that directs you to what department you need to go to. And most importantly, you are decisive. You are the lone wolf shopper. Sometimes. Well, I had fun taking the Cyber Monday quiz, the Vogue Cyber Monday shopping quiz. If you'd like, post what the results that you got in the comment section below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video with us. Hope you hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And in the link description below, we're going to give a website to the Black Friday Best Deals. There's a website that analyzes all the Best Friday deals, the Black Friday deals. And it's also for... Uh, home shopping what was it small business Saturday and Sunday and Cyber Monday it has all the deals this whole entire shopping weekend check out the link below they're not a sponsor but it's a great place to start your Cyber Monday shopping so again thank you very much you have a good day Gothamites